Hubie and Birdie Hubie and Birdie are animated cartoon mouse characters in the Warner Brothers Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies series of cartoons. Hubie and Bertie represent some of animator Chuck Jones' earliest work that was intended to be funny rather than cute. All of their cartoons were given blue ribbon reissues. First film Jones introduced Hubie and Bertie in the short The Aristo Cat, first released on June 19, 1943. The plot of the cartoon would serve as the template for most future Hubie Bertie outings, a character with some mental illness or degree of Navette is psychologically tormented by the pair. They tell the hungry cat that he is a lion and a bulldog, his prey, leading to several painful encounters for the cat. Hubie and Bertie as designed by Jones are nearly identical mice with long snouts, large ears, and big, black noses. The two are anthropomorphic, walking on their stubby hind legs and using their forelimbs as arms. They are primarily distinguished by their color, one is brown with a lighter colored belly and face, while the other is gray. Hubie has a Brooklyn accent. Bertie has large buck teeth, and a habit of responding to Hubie with, yeah yeah, sure sure, or snickering, riot, if Hubie has just proposed some scheme with comic potential. Mel Blanc voiced Hubie. While historians differ on who voiced Bertie in the initial cartoon, Stan Freeberg voiced him subsequently. Later films Bertie made a cameo in Odor Able Kitty. Trap Happy Porky was their second appearance. Nameless, indistinguishable except for color, they appear only in the first act, stealing food from a porky in nightshirt and cap. They are silent except for a single I'm only three and a half years old, and retreat when a cat shows up. Jones would repeat the theme of mind games several more times in his Hubie and Bertie shorts, as in their third cartoon, roughly squeaking on November 23, 1946. This time, Jones has the mice exploit a cat's stupidity by convincing him he's a lion and a dog as a moose he wants to eat. By the short's end, the cat thinks he's a lion, the dog believes he's a pelican, and a bystanding bird has pulled his feathers out and imagines himself a Thanksgiving turkey. The mice are here voiced by Mel Blanc and Stan Freeberg. The short was followed by House Hunting Mice on September 6, 1947, where Hubie and Bertie run afoul of a housekeeping robot. In the next cartoon, Mouse Wreckers, and for the remainder of the series, Blanc and Freeberg would handle the voices of Hubie and Bertie, respectively. Cat and Mouse Jones introduced a permanent antagonist of sorts for the mice in Mouse Wreckers. The short was released in 1949 and was the first in which they are officially called Hubie and Bertie. In the cartoon, the duo moves into a new home, only to discover that it is protected by champion mouser Claude Cat, voiced by Mel Blanc. The mice torment the cat both physically and mentally. The short was nominated for an Academy Award. The mice would antagonize Claude in two more films, The Hypochondry Cat, released in 1950, featured Hubie and Bertie making Claude think he's sick with various ailments and, ultimately, that he has died. In 1951's Cheese Chasers, Hubie and Bertie inadvertently torment Claude when, after going overboard on a cheese raid and getting sick of their favorite food, they decide to commit suicide by trying to get Claude to eat them. After these seven cartoons, Jones retired Hubie and Bertie but continued to use the characters in cameo roles in other shorts whenever he needed a generic mouse for a gag, such as the unnamed mouse in Chow Hound, who resembles Bertie, or the killer mice in Scaredy Cat. Home video All of the Hubie and Bertie cartoons are available, remastered, on Looney Tunes Mouse Chronicles, the Chuck Jones collection on DVD and Blu-ray. Later appearances Hubie and Bertie have made several cameos in Warner Brothers Productions, filmography.